Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. We are back, the last show of the week on this beautiful Friday here in Orlando. Very excited to have Matt Boone on the show. You know how much I love our musical guest. Matt Boone is gonna come on, talk about all sorts of things. Main Street Heaven, we'll get to know what that even means. Uh, MattBoone.net is his website. And I'm excited to have you on. And of course, he's going to perform for, for us. So you know how much we all love that. Welcome, Matt. How you doing? Hey, man. Thanks for having me, Ted. Super excited to have you. Loving the accent. You get, you get an accent much. I'm loving it. It's got a nice little... Matt's in Tennessee right now. Um, I am always excited to hear the journey that a musician, an artist takes. So give us a little background on you, my friend. Background on me. Well, uh, I've been doing music since I was like five years old. I, I really got into it a little more when I was about eight years old. Started playing guitar, started playing in church a little bit, you know, singing, playing drums and bass and whatnot, you know. And uh, now I mainly sing and play uh, rhythm guitar. And so did your family have musical gifts or were you the only one? Did you grow up around music? Uh, yes, I did. My dad was a harmonica player. He was a singer. Uh, my dad's brother, my uncle there. He lives in actually uh, Bushnell, Florida, about an hour north of you guys there. I know where uh, Bushnell is, sure. Yeah, he's watching today. So how you doing, Ricky? Hey, dad. Uncle Ricky. <laughs> yeah, uncle Rick. uh, he, uh, he, he taught me how to play uh, guitar and uh, go on when I was about eight years old with the guitar. So so it's one thing to do it, like start at eight, you, you get a passionate at an early age about music. It's another thing to transition once you get out of school into making it a career. What was that like for you? It's very complicated, you know, when, you, when you're starting out like that, coming straight out of school, um, you know, you're always looking for different avenues to make things work for yourself and your career and your musical abilities and everything. Um, you know, playing little clubs and bars and things like that coming up, you know, and, uh, Fairs and festivals and things, you know, that help you climb the ladder. And What did you do? How did you pivot during 2020 since so many performances got canceled for a very long time? How did you keep uh, working in the music industry and keep your creativity going? Man, it's it was a tough year for everybody. 2020 was was awful. <laughs> uh, but we're, we hung in there. We, uh, you know. I wrote some songs. I focused on uh, making a new album. Uh, you know, met a lot of people, co-wrote with different people and uh, just, uh, you know, just kept the dream alive with music, you know, just kept moving forward and, uh, you know, yeah, did what we could, you know, and then, with, you know, the online thing, the, you know, the online shows, the virtual stuff, you know, uh, did a couple of those and people so you seemed did, to love you that. Did you did shift know, to that. You, you were able to adapt yeah. to the online shows. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. talk about the collaboration. We always have a lot of questions from people before we go live about anytime there's a songwriter or creative here. What What's the collaborative process like for you? Is it easy for you to uh, write with another uh, songwriter or are you better at your one-on-one, -on -one, just you? Absolutely. I enjoy co-writing with people because, you know, their, their opinions and ideas are always great, you know, when they bring that to the table. Uh, you know, you, you might have a different outlook or aspect on a song, you know, and the co-writers bring something, you know, much better to the table. You know, uh, a lot of times, you, you know, you have this, you know, kind of crazy idea and you got a co-writer that brings in another idea and it, it, you know, you make it work, you know. Love that. So how is the uh, songwriting process? What motivates you? What 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 inspires you? Do you get it from everyday experiences, your experiences, other people's experiences? Where do you get where do you get the ideas for your songs? That would be all the above. Um, <laughs> yeah, all the above. Um, a lot, a lot of it from personal experiences, you know. And um, my most recent song was, uh, you know, from the loss of my father back in August of last year. Um, you know, a couple other songs I've I've written before, you know, from the same aspect of, uh, you know, losing someone or you know stuff like that. So. When you write a song um, like that, obviously it's cathartic, it's very healing, but it's also, you know, it gets that, you birth it basically because it's got to right. get out. What's it like performing a song? Like um, you, t you mentioned the one um, that you wrote um, in homage to your dad. What's it like when you perform a song like that? Like I, well, anytime I've sang and I get emotional, I have a very hard time with my voice not cracking. I mean, it's just... <laughs> 
it, it so what's it like for you as a performer because you do it all the time so are yeah. you totally desensitized to it or do you still get choked up when you're saying those words and expressing those feelings well yeah i i can't lie about it i do you know i lost dad back in august it's, it's kind of still fresh with me uh and i do get choked up it does bother me and uh you know i just get through it because i know he's there with me and and this is what he would be wanting me to do is, is sing and you know make him proud and uh just like just like it was when he was when he was living here on earth with us so it's interesting because i've seen uh people perform that have written just these like yours a very heartfelt, deeply personal kind of song. And then to get up there and perform it, my favorite thing is when I can feel the pain. And I mean that in a positive way. When you can feel the emotion as an audience member, that's when I feel like there's that real great connect with the audience. Um, do you feel that when you're singing some of the songs? Do you look out in the crowd and go, God, they're really getting it. They're really understanding what my what our perspective is. Absolutely. You know, that's that's a big part of it is, uh, you know, reaching the fans and being able to touch them through a song and seeing their facial expressions and, uh, you know, watching them grow with you as an artist, you know, um, especially with this song. You know, this song gets a lot of uh, a lot of tears, but a lot of happy tears, you know. So 20 before we uh, have you perform, what is 2021 looking like? Are the venues coming back? Are you able to do some? in person performing now what's what's your world like look like as a performer it's it's starting to look up man from from 2020 it's actually coming around a little bit we booked a few shows this year i have a show later in the year with ronnie mcdowell doing a big show, nice. show with him for saint jude very excited about that and i think it's september uh, i had the josie music awards coming up in september that's the big time of the year in the pigeon forge area uh let's say uh, yeah, we have got a couple shows. You know, it's it's, it's fantastic. That's what you want. Really, like, well, I want to think everybody wants to get back to some different sort of than it normal. was in twenty. All right, so I'm going to let you perform. Tell us what you're oh. going to sing for us. Tell us about the song, and I'm going to remove myself from the screen. Matt right. Boon, everybody. All right. So, guys, I got these goofy headphones on here so I can hear what's going on today. But i uh, going to do you guys a song that's uh, my brand-new single. It's out on radio right now. It's doing very, very well. Uh, it's called Main Street Heaven. I lost my father back in August and uh, wrote this song in honor of him. And uh, this song is getting some great feedback from the fans, as you can see on YouTube and my social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff, TikTok. Uh, been getting a lot of uh, family photos from different people and everything. Uh, thank y'all so much for sending those in. And thank y'all for listening to the TED show today. Uh, I'm going to do y'all a stripped down acoustic version of Main Street Heaven. Awesome. Morning sunrise through the curtains and miles. Cell phone ain't there ringing, and much to my surprise, the doctor on the phone said, You better leave right now. Your dad is hanging on, we'll do our best somehow. I flew off down the highway, running in traffic line I got there just in time for us to say our last goodbyes There ain't no phones in heaven so I wrote you a little note to tell you how I miss you and your grandkids are growing up Yes, I pass your house each day, reminding me of you First class just for you, dressed to mail to Main Street Heaven. Little small town, two red lights, laid back kind of place. Supper on the stove every night, and mama's warm embrace. Fifty years of marriage, 
kids down the road. Always a loving kind, you can feel the love he showed. Bought my first flat top guitar when I was five years old. He spelled up so much pride when he heard me on the radio. There ain't no fault in heaven, so I wrote you a little note to tell you how I miss you and your grandkids are growing up. Yes, I pass your house each day, reminding me of you. Sent this first class just for you. We're dressed to mail to Main Street Heaven. There goes another rainbow in the sky. And I can almost feel your loving arms as the rain down. No folks in heaven, so I wrote you a little note to tell you how I miss you and your grandkids are growing up. Yes, I pass your house each day, reminding me of you. I sent this first class just for you, dressed to mail to Main Street Heaven. Oh, was so good. All right. So when Thanks, you, um, you know what part got me? I mean, a lot of it did, but um, passing by his house each day, because I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that that is a real thing that has happened or happens. That's a real line, man. I, yeah. I go by dad's house every single day, you know, just um, me and him used to sit out on the back porch a lot and talk about music, talk about, you know, my musical dream and his his life of being a tree years and just talk about life in general man and just you know the father and dad stuff that father and dads do and um you know it just it, it's different going by there and, and him not being there you know so uh, it helps to uh express that in a song it really does it's beautiful i, f I felt hey, it thank you. and i think everybody else felt it all right so how do people find you matt you What's can find me on my website, uh, mattboone.net. Uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, just type in Matt Boone and you can find me. How they find their, your music? Uh, iTunes, Amazon Music. It's everywhere. Every uh, digital outlet there is, you can find it everywhere. Just uh, Google it out, man. So good, Matt. Mattboone.net. Main Street Heaven was that song written about his dad. Beautiful. All right, you guys go out, support our local artists, our artists, any kind of creative right now. They're all trying to pivot 2021 and come back from a crazy 2020. So go out and support them. You love Matt's music. Let them know you love it. Download it, buy it, stream it, do all those good things because that does good for Matt. And we want songwriters and performers like Matt to keep being able to give us back all that love and stuff. You were awesome, Matt. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, everybody. The best place to go is to the store page on mattboone.net. That's the most easiest place to find it. So, Fantastic. mattboone.net. All right, Matt, thank you so much. You guys have a beautiful weekend. We'll be back Monday.